All right, just making sure that works. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Area 11. Today, we are going to do a little bit of building clothing for Roblox. Um, let me do a little bit of changes here on the screen. Whoops. Let's get rid of this window. Put it down at the bottom. All right, can you guys hear me okay? <clears throat> There's something wrong with Roblox servers. I know you guys are tired. This is a late stream. It's a instructional stream. So, bear with me. Can you hear my voice okay? Um, do I need to turn up my voice, turn down the music? Anything at all? Let me know. And I will do it. Alright, so first of all, you need materials. <clears throat> Actually, first of all, you guys need to go to Roblox, of course. Go to the group that you're going to be making stuff for. So we're going to go to groups. Well, maybe we're going to go to groups. Area 11, of course. Go to the store. <clears throat> go to create or manage group items. Okay, and the first thing you need to do is download the template to make your shorts, your shirts and pants. So you go here and download it. <coughs> okay, this is the shirt. So what you're going to do is right click, save image as, and save it to your computer in a folder that you, that is available or you know where it is. You can make a folder for it. So save it as a uh, Roblox template. Okay. All right. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to go get one for pants. So you go to the pants. It's the same as the shirt, but it has different, shows you the different locations of everything. So we download it, <coughs> save image as, and we're going to save it to, I have a folder that has uh, merchandise materials. So I'm going to save it there. All right, and close that. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to open a window and we're going to open, which I have the uh, link in the description for you guys for Pixlr Editor. Um, you do have to go up here to the little lock right here and make sure that you allow Flash Player. Otherwise, you won't be able to use it. If it pops up, uh, after you do that, push a refresh. If it pops up another picture, just go back. Just hit back and you'll go to it. So this is what you want to see. Pixlr Editor is very easy to use, <clears throat> at least for me. I don't know, some people like using other apps, but this is my favorite. Okay, so we're going to create a new image. Now, the templates need the... Uh, template has to be 585 we're putting in the width 585 and the height's gonna be 559 you want to make sure that you do it transparent background right here <coughs> all right and we're gonna do okay and this is what you get all right the first thing you need to do is go up here to file and we're gonna do open image and we're going to go and find our image that we just got of the templates, which I should have two of them. Here's one. This is for the pants. See, it's torso, left leg, and right leg. We're going to move it over here, and we're going to make it smaller until we're ready for it. So we're going to keep our desktop in order. Okay, and we're going to go get another one. Open image. We're going to look for the shirt, the template for the shirt. Where is it? I don't see it. Hang on a second. Let me see. Maybe it's in here. Yes, right here. Okay, so we got our template for our shirt. We're going to do a shirt first, and we're just going to do basic, guys. I'm not going to show you all how to do a bunch of all the details and stuff. We are going to do shading. 
So let's go ahead and grab our shading as well. Open image. Go to merchandise materials. Let's find our shading right here. This is what we're going to use for shading. So until we're ready for it, we're going to put it up here. All right, so first we're going to go over here and where it says marquee tool, we're going to click on that. And that gives you the, the box, the square to, so that you can select all. So we're going to go here, select all. And then I'm going to do control C for copy. Come over here, click there and do control V or paste. So now you've got your template over here. This is your workspace. This is just your materials. So we're going to take this and we've already used it. So we're going to put it down here out of the way. Okay, over here we have our box that has layers, okay? We're going to open that up because we're going to watch these layers as I build this shirt, okay? You're always going to have the template that's going to be on the bottom. So now we need something that we want to use to the base of our shirt or whatever. So you just go to Google and search color or pattern or whatever you want. Let's pick, um, let's just do something with a black base. No, because then we can't use shading. Let's do red. So we're just going to type in red. If it's a certain color red you want, crimson or something like that, fine, type it in. Images. And you see all these different reds, different things in red. Anything that looks great to you, you pick it. So we're going to go through. And the red that I'm going to use, I'm going to do something like this right here, I guess, right here. Okay, so you can go like that <clears throat> and pull it up like this and maybe find a more detailed one that you like better maybe or not, okay? But you don't want to use this picture here but make sure it doesn't have watermarks on it, okay? So you're going to close that, go back to the small picture, do save image, and I'm going to do red smoke. That's how I'm going to save it, okay? So save. And you go back to your Pixlr, go to file, you got to go grab that picture, open image, and we're going to go find our red smoke. And it's right here. So we're going to bring it over here. Make sure that you have the marquee tool on so that you can uh, right click, select all, control C for copy, control V for paste. And now you've got it on top of your template. If you look over here on this side, you see the first layer is just the, the transparent part. The second layer is your template. And the third layer is your, your uh, pattern. Now, if we put the template on top of that, it's going to cover it, right? So we want this on top of the template. Okay. So now we're going to go over to our pattern. We're going to do right click free transform and that gives you the opportunity to make it do anything you want this is a pattern so we're not going to make it cover the whole thing we're going to do it in two pieces so we're going to make it cover just this top part right here okay and the way we're going to work with that is over here you've got your layer is highlighted down here you click on uh, this little toggle layer setting and you change the op opacity okay and now you can see through it see that so we're gonna make it to where we can still see it but we can see the the boxes behind it that's for lining things up okay so we're gonna do it again 
you can either go back here and copy and paste or you can just go here and paste if you're using the same pattern so we're going to right click free transform now this is going to be the sleeves I'm going to make it fit each set of sleeves so we're not going to because we don't want to stretch it out too big because it'll mess up the pixels in the picture all right so we're going to go here with it make sure you cover that whole sleeve save it I'm going to do the same thing you can either copy it again and do it or you can just go here and do Control v again free transform right click free transform make it the right size okay since it's got this yellow in it and we really didn't use that too much in a lot of the the, uh, the shirt we're gonna take this and we're gonna flip it okay so we got a layer and you go here and you flip horizontal and then if it does show up in the in the shirt it's all gonna match up because see it's opposite of this one wait free transform and we're going to cover this side just the same let's make it a little bit smaller over here so it shows just like the other side all right we're going to save it <clears throat> now we're going to make these a little opaque too so you've got see that it makes it disappear totally right okay so we just want it to show a little bit we're gonna do the same thing to this one I'm kind of not watching the chat so uh, yeah hello everybody thank you for being here we're kind of just doing a little um, go over on how to easily make shirts and items in Roblox for your avatars so just hang out. Um, if you missed any of it, you can always go back and, and watch it later. Okay, so we're going to use our shading template now. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on it, right click, select all. We're going to copy it. So control C, come over here, click on your, your workspace, control V. Okay, now we need to make this the same size as the actual template behind our uh, behind our base color so we're going to stretch it out and see now it's exactly the same size as <clears throat> as the template I can take these and I can show you even better by just opaquing these so now you don't see my bases at all but they're still there and you see the shading is perfectly on the template, correct? All right, now what we need to do is we're going to bring back our shades a little bit here. Bring it back here. Bring this one back up a little bit. Now we don't want our hands to be covered. We want the hands to show correct. So what we're going to do is we're going to keep it on marquee tool and we're going to slice off the bottom of it but we got to do all the layers okay so you go right here we're gonna go about that high uh, maybe yeah maybe a little less maybe like that okay and we're gonna slice off the whole bottom of all, everything that's on that part so we're gonna start with the template itself and we're gonna delete then we're gonna go to this part here and we're gonna delete it then we're gonna go to this part here and we're gonna delete that then we're gonna go to the shading part and we're gonna delete that too all right so now we have where the squares are is going to be transparent okay so let's go back to our, our, our uh, sleeves let's go opaque again a little bit make it a little opaque again okay now whenever you're working on the uh, workspace the only part that is going to cut out when you delete or move these boxes or shade or you know pick an area to cut off is going to be the part that's 
over here that's um, highlighted. So right now we're working on layer three, which is this piece right here. So we don't have to, but I'm gonna go ahead and cut this off so it's not confusing to you guys. And to show you that, you know, each part you work on is, okay. And we're gonna cut this part off right there. We're gonna delete that. Now, <clears throat> as you know, more of the template did show in the bottom, but we cut it off so that it's transparent and you actually will show your hands at the end of your shirt. All right, so now you don't have to cut off all the excess unless you want to, but it makes it so easy when you do it opaque so that you can see where to center everything, okay? And in this one, we are not going to be lightening the, sh the, um, the shade to see it looks good. If you're using like a white or a lighter color, all you gotta do is lighten, you can lighten and darken the shading according to what color you're using and how much shading you want to use. But this particular color that we're using, you're gonna use full shade. All right, so now we're gonna decide what do we want on our shirt. Um, let me show you with the shading how the whole shirt's gonna be. Okay, so that's gonna be our shirt and how it's gonna, those are the marks that are on it and everything. Yellow is fine up here. If we don't want the yellow on it, we can always go here, make sure that that piece of material is highlighted. You can do a transform and you can pull it back off the shirt a little bit so that you're just using basically the, the red and the dark parts instead of just the yellow. Or you can add the yellow if you want. But just use the part of the materials that you want to use. All right, so we're saving that. <clears throat> all right now what do we want on this shirt what do y'all want on this shirt let's see we could do anything let's see we could put fire let's see that's pretty cool looking fire right there huh Let's see, let's find the fire circle. And you can put just really anything to find what you want. You, you truly can. Just put anything, and anything will pop up on Google, guys. Anything. Let's see, fire circle, let's put neon. Fire circle neon, what comes up? There we go. You saw a fire you used once, so yeah? <laughs> Let's see, what are we gonna use here? Something to go with that awesome smoke red. And make sure that when you pick a picture, you do not get one with a watermark. See how this one has a watermark on it? Don't use those. Those are uh, copyrighted. You can use it if you can work around the watermark. That's fine, but I just don't use them. That's pretty cool looking, huh? Fine Art America. Let's see what else they got in there. Nothing. All right, let's see here. What are we gonna put on our shirt? This is what we do on Discord. We just sit, we listen to music, and we just, I, I make stuff, and y'all can tell me what y'all want on it, or, or whatever. We just do this, and it's pretty cool. And usually you guys play in games or whatever you're doing while I'm doing this. We all just hang out. Let's see here. Let me find something. This one's pretty cool. I like this one. 
No, it doesn't have red. Let's use this one. Save image as fire circle. Save. Okay, so we have that. We're going to go back to our Pixlr editor. And we're going to go to open image. And we're going to go find our fire circle. And we're going to open it up and bring it over to our workspace. We've got our shading on already, so let's make that smaller. Let's keep our area clean. Let's move this down. It's used. But I'm going to keep it there just in case we need it again. You know, just in case. Just in case. All right, we're going to go to our fire circle. We're going to right click, <clears throat> select all. Control C, Control V over here. Now you see how it turned out behind everything? It's behind the shading, it's behind these sleeves. We have to take it from over here and we're gonna move it up because we want it on top of everything. All right, um, let's move it above the shading too. Now we don't want this black square around our circle or on the inside, we just want the circle. So we're going to go over here to this wand tool, right here on the wand tool, and we're going to click on the black part. And it's going to basically mostly take out, you push delete, and it's going to take out most of that. Click on it again where you don't want the black, and it's going to take that out. Click on it here, and it's going to take that out. I click over to the side and you're going to have a clean, uh, pretty clean. We're going to touch it up a little bit. So let's go to our other layers and let's make everything, let's make everything opaque. Let's get rid of it like this so that we can see our circle. Okay, you can see there's a few things, a little bit of cleaning up we need to do around it. So we're going to go to the eraser and go up here and choose, I would say maybe <laughs> not the brush. You don't want the brush because <clears throat> you want it completely removed. So I'm using the top one. You come down here. Wait, 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 wait. I did that wrong. Undo. Undo. Okay, we're going to go to that layer. So go to that layer. And we're going to take out this. This little messy parts. And some things, like if I was doing this on a black shirt, it really wouldn't matter because it would blend in. But sometimes you do have to do a little bit of detailing. And I probably even could have gotten the transparent one, but... It's no fun like that. You gotta have a little bit of a hard time doing stuff to make it really feel valuable. That's right. Okay, so that's great. All right, perfect. So we're gonna go back over here to <clears throat> the marquee tool. We're gonna click over here and do free transform. Now we want this in the middle of the back of the shirt. Okay, so we're gonna size it. I'm going to move it up here to where it fits onto the back of the shirt. Now if you have all of this, if you have all this faded out like this, you can see where to center it. So that's why I do that. I turn that off and then we're going to be able to center this by using the words. If you go and remove all the words and everything, it's hard to get things centered. So yeah, we're gonna do that, center it. Just like that. All right, so now this is what we have. We have a fire circle on the back of our shirt. All right, so now let's do, let's go down here to text, see where the A is. It's the typing tool. And you can click anywhere and put it anywhere you want. But it's going to go right here in the middle of our shirt, in the circle. 
and it's going to say, what do you think? Area, you have to enter to go to the next row. We're just doing something a little bit different. People wanted new content, so I'm giving it to you. <laughs> 18, we're gonna put it to size, 18, and see how that works out. See if it fits, and it does. Make sure you get it centered. This is our second instructional video for the day. <laughs> Love it. All right, and we're going to make it gold, like the fire. Yeah, and we're going to make it gold. Gold and red is awesome. Okay, so let's pick a... Let me see. There we go. Comic Sans. Comic Sans. <clears throat> All right. What's up? What's up, tree? It's okay, you join late, you can always watch it later. Okay, so, so far, this is what we have. Um, let me see. Looking good. Hey, looking good. All right. <clears throat> so we have our area 11 on the back. Let me turn it on just a little bit so you guys get the idea. Let me turn the sleeves up just a little bit so you get the idea. Okay, I want you to stay there. All right. <clears throat> now, so we have the, the fire circle and the area 11 are above the shading. Okay, let's see, we can bring the shading in and it doesn't go over the fire circle, which is pretty important because you don't want a bunch of dark lines through your beautiful neon fire circle, right? Okay, so we're happy with area 11 in the fire circle. Let's move over here and let's do some more lettering. Okay, if you look at the shirt over here on this side, right here, you'll notice that it tells you this part of the shirt, the front is the front of the shirt. One second, let me turn this down here. It's hard to kind of tell. So that you'll know which parts of the shirt are in place. So the red right here and right here are the front of the shirt. The blue is here and here and here. That's the back of the shirt and the back of the sleeves. The yellow are the outsides. Well, this one's the outside and this one's the inside. Now this one's the outside and this one's the inside, duh. Okay, and the green, this is the inside here and this is the outside. So it's confusing, but you can get it right. See, here's the green on the outside and this green is on the inside. So it's kind of confusing. They should have done that different, but they didn't, so we gotta deal with it. So we wanna put something right here on the sleeve, on the outside of the sleeve, okay? So we're gonna go back to text, and I'm just gonna do AE for area 11. I want it a little bit bigger than 18, so let's go maybe at 23. Let's bring it down. We don't want it like way up on the shoulder, but we don't want it down on the wrist either. So we're gonna put it about there, and use the L to center it like that. We can change its color. We're going to make it gold as well. Yep, yeah, it's going to be gold too. We're going to go down here and make it bold. We're going to center. It's already the same uh, font. And we're going to save it. We're going to do the same thing over here. So I'm going to do AE for area 11. We want it to be in the same place and use the R to center it. Your cookies. Y'all are looking for cookies? <laughs> you know, I'm like really concentrating, so I'm not looking up there too much, guys. Let's see, okay. We got our gold, we got our bold. 
and there we go <clears throat> okay so what else do we want on the shirt do we want a small fire circle in the front maybe so let's go here you got to go back to marquee tool it's already all selected click on it do copy you come over here and do paste and we're gonna actually you know what we're not gonna do it like that we're gonna do it like this we're going to delete that layer and we're gonna go to this layer which is our fire circle we're gonna go to the fire circle and we're gonna duplicate the layer so you come back over here to the fire circle right click on it free transform and you have a new fire circle we're just gonna make it smaller oh you know what we could do we could take it and put it right around here that would be cool like that and say that nope let's free transform let's move it up a little bit all right so we're gonna take that one and we're gonna copy it again duplicate come over here free transform move it over here like that try to get it about right <clears throat> all right now let's see what we got let's go back to our base colors like that awesome let's move this one's got to be under there <laughs> all right looks good so far usually I put right down here at the base of the shirt and put uh, area 11 but we already have it there so it's all good um let's see let's go ahead and put AE right here as well because it is an area 11 shirt and you guys can put anything you want on yours or ask me to do a shirt for you I don't mind so we're gonna do like a maybe a 15 right there I'm gonna go bold center we got our color already we got our font okay let's move it over a little bit okay we're gonna go down here like this and we're gonna go to our layer copy right click duplicate layer a free transform and we're gonna pull it up here and make it even smaller it's very uniform um, it's a nice shirt it's not a uh, tacky it won't get me um, banned for three days <laughs> yeah don't write anything bad on your shirts or anything don't I mean if you've got to think about it don't do it okay if, if you have to think about it do not do it okay this is kind of out of place here looks more straight let's see yes okay and let's move to the other one make it a little more straight yeah if you don't if you've got to think about it twice you probably shouldn't do it all right <clears throat> so you have your shirt okay I'm gonna go ahead and save it like this I don't want to cut a neck out because I just want it to be all red the necks will end up showing your skin and all that and some sometimes it just doesn't look great we can do a, a neck as well um, let me go ahead and save this one Okay, I'm gonna name it uh, area 11 smoking there we go over here you need to be sure and save it as PNG if you do not save it as PNG this checkerboard spot right here that's a, that's gonna be transparent will be white 
it will not be transparent. So make sure you save it as PNG transparent full quality. Okay. We're going to save it to our not materials. We're going to save it to merchandise templates where I have all my templates already made. So save there. Okay. And that's a shirt. You go back to your developer and Roblox, go to shirts like this. Okay, we're going to choose our file, which was right here, area 11 smoking. We're going to upload. Okay, and it pops up right here. It's not going to pop up immediately. It has to be looked over by Roblox before it is verified and okay to be sold. So we're going to go ahead and continue on <clears throat> with this. Um, I will show you now how to cut out the neck. So you're going to go right here to the elliptical marquee. And we're going to go up here where we want the back of the neck to start. And this is where, this is the sh top of the shoulders and the neck. So we're going to go about right here. And we're going to pull a circle like this. All right, but you've got to take it out of all the layers. So the first layer that is affected by this is going to be the top of the shirt layer. So we're going to put that circle. We're going to delete it. Then you want to make sure that you take it out of the wait. I'll do this part first, the Roblox template, and then you can still see the shading in there. So be sure and highlight the shading and delete that too. Now, when you go to copy the shirt, it will be, I mean, whenever you go to save it, it's going to be transparent here and at the bottoms of the sleeves or anywhere that you cut off of it, but you got to take out all the layers. So we're going to go ahead and save it as is smoke and collar. It's going to have a neck, a neckline basically. So we're going to go here. We're going to do PNG and okay. I'm going to save it to templates. <clears throat> All right, so I'm in between. Does anybody have any questions? Any questions about the shirt that I just made? Very basic, very simple. Um, if you have any questions, I can answer. Otherwise, I'm going to go ahead and delete all of this stuff off of here because I'm done with it. All right, we're going to delete layer, delete that layer. We're going to delete that layer. We're going to keep, uh, we're going to keep our words, but we're going to make them unseen. So I'm going to uncheck them. The AEs, the area 11. All right. The fire I'm going to delete because we're not going to use it. Well, we could make some pants with the fire. Hmm. Yeah, we could make some pants with the fire. Let's get um, up here and let's get some black. Let's get some black jeans. Literally, not literally, please. <laughs> we just want the color, okay? <laughs> we don't want all that. <clears throat> Just the color, black jean, color, all right, here we go, some black jeans, here we go, here's one, save image as black jeans. All right, we can go back to Pixlr and we're going to pull our picture, open image. We're going to go to materials. And we got our black jeans. You have a question? 
how do you make it into a hoodie? You would use a uh, the shading for a hoodie. I'll show you that after this, okay? I'll show you. I'll show you again, and we'll you we'll get a hoodie shading. Let me see. Maybe I can do it real quick. So you go up here and you go Roblox hoodie shading. It's all in the shading. Yeah, like right here. So let's see. Like this one, for instance. And you would just lighten it and dark it according to the color that you're using. So you would just, but you gotta make sure that you're getting a template the correct size, 585 by 559. So here you can put 585, 559. And see, the templates come back as that size. Um, look for a hoodie. Like this one here. And you put that over your material that you're using. <clears throat> and I basically, that's basic. This one here, I would use this plus a shading. You know, so you would have like the shading and this because this really doesn't have shading in it that's just basically your your hoodie parts okay so yeah that's how you make a hoodie all right let's get to pixlr let's do click on here all right right now we're going to get rid of our fire we can bring it back because we're keeping it on there. We're just making it disappear like that. Okay. So let's get rid of our shading for now. We will use that on our blue jeans, but we're going to get rid of this layer, which is the template. And we're going to bring on the pants template, even though it really makes no difference. It's just to tell you guys where the pieces lay. So we're going to do select all copy paste any more questions before I get going on this been here a long time you haven't been here good well you can always go back and watch it if you you know if you'd like to <clears throat> yes exactly that's how you do it just um you can get the templates that have the shading in them already or you can get the t two templates to get a separate shading one from the hoodie one you know and just mix them. Just make sure that, you know, the hoodie when the outline of the hoodie is a little bit darker than the shading. And then according to what color you're using is to where, how dark you use, um, how dark you make the shading. So you'd use this right here to make it lighter and darker, the opacity. Okay, so we're gonna do some pants. And on the pants, again, we do not want the pants to be down over, I guess, down over your feet. We're going to add some shoes to it too. That's really not basic, basically learning it, but it's close. I just want y'all to see the shoes too. They're cool. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> so we use this template. Let's move it out of the way. We're not going to get rid of it because we might just need it again. You never know. Okay, so here we've got it on marquee tool again, okay? Now, we're going to go over here, select all. Now, this one here really doesn't have a whole lot of pixelation, I don't think. We'll look at it, though. Let me see. Oh, we're going to do a different shirt on top. So this is just going to go on the bottom for the jeans. So we're going to right-click, select all. Then you're going to do control C for copy, control V for paste. You're going to right click on it, free transform. And it does kind of pixel, the jeans kind of get too big. So let's go ahead and just make it two parts here. Let's not stretch it out too much. Asking too much from our material here. Okay, so we're going to do it like this. And we can always change it if our shoes come up too much or if the shoes don't look right. 
Okay. <clears throat> now I'm not gonna do it again. We're gonna go ahead because this is sized the way I want it and everything. The pixels are the way I want them. So we're gonna go to that layer <clears throat> over here. Right click and duplicate layer. It's gonna be on top of this layer. You don't even know it's there until you go free transform. Right click free transform and you move it. Now you want this to match up exactly as the other one does. See if it's even off a little bit, it's going to make a difference. So let's free transform it again and let's budge it down just a little bit. Let's see if it matches. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. So that's going to be the blue jeans. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and use the opacity so we can see our template in the back. <clears throat> and we're going to keep the template there because we are going to be adding shoes. Now on the top here, we're going to be wearing this with the fire um, shirt. So basically we could just put, um, I guess we could just put this fire back on just the top part. It's not even going to show if you're wearing it with the shirt. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Select all, copy, paste. And only, see, if you look, the arms aren't going to be covered on the uh, pants. All it's going to cover is the middle part and the back part. So we're just going to basically put it just like we had it and the sides. Yeah, so we're just going to cover it like this. Just to show you what I've done, oops, we're going to go over here and do the opacity like that, okay. We can go ahead and we can put, um, go back up here to where we have our uh, circles and we're going to put our circles and everything back on this shirt as well, not the pants. Um, we're going to put the area 11 in case somebody wears it without. Uh, let's see, area 11 and that circle. Okay, so that's going to be on the top of the shirt in case somebody wears the, the pants without the other shirt. All right, so we got our pants down here. Let's go get some shoes. So I've already got some shoes. I found them on a template. Um, that I borrowed, <laughs> so to say. All right, let me see. We're gonna go to YouTube, um, merchandise templates. We're gonna go grab my shoes. Let's see. Let's see, with shade, with shade. Where are they at with shoes? Um. Let's see. I don't see the shoes. Hang on a minute. Let me see. It's a shirt. Somebody was asking me to do tattoos. I think it was Holloway. I'll do tattoos also. It's just a matter of getting it. Um, a matter of making sure that you do it transparent. Let's see if it's here. Let me see where all this stuff is gone. It's pictures with thumbnails. Here it is. Is it just in the wrong place? All right. So see these shoes on this Adidas? We're gonna steal them. This is a set that I made the other day. Okay, so you want to make sure that you're on marquee tool. Go right above the tops of the backs of the shoes. Make sure you don't cut any of it off like I just did. Like that. Oh wait, I gotta go to square, sorry. Go to rectangular marquee. That's why I was doing that. 
<laughs> All right. And we want this whole part right here. Because this is the bottom of the shoes right here. The soles. That's the soul. We've got to get the soul. Okay, so we're going to click on it. We're going to control C. We're going to do control V. And we have our shoes right here. Right click, free transform. All right. You see how the shoes are under this piece of material here. So let's save them. We're doing our shoes. So we want them above, above the pants leg. <clears throat> All right. Also, we have some extra white pieces in there we need to take out. So we're going to go to the eraser. We're going to go back to here. Make sure you're on your shoes over here. I'm going to take those pieces out. Whatever you can do with the round part, you do. Okay, and then we're probably going to have to use a smaller, let's see, maybe like, yeah, let's use this. I'm going to click it. We'll smooth it back out though. I should have used the round part on that one. All right, we're going to take out this evenly with the square. We'll come back with the round again on those. Okay. We'll come right down the middle. Now Roblox will cut it off anyway as far as the the length and everything of the actual template. So if something's hanging over the template, it's okay. It's not a big deal. Okay, now let's smooth it out with a round one again. Maybe a smaller one. Yeah, let's use a smaller one. Hit that, hit that. Oh. There. And you can always undo. Say if I look like that and accidentally messed it up like that, you go up here to undo. And you can undo your mistakes. It's so easy. Take out all these little white choppy parts here. Okay. And like I said, Roblox does take out the other parts too. Okay. All right. <clears throat> so let's fix the tongue up here. A little piece there.
Alright, so there's your shoes. With your blue jeans. There's your shoes. Blue jeans. Shirt. Alright. So we don't really have anything that we need to cut off, but what we are going to do is we're going to make this template disappear because you can still see like the blue and the yellow and stuff under these shoes a little bit. So wait a second. Let me move them down just a tiny bit. I'm going to go back to marquee tool. We're going to do free transform. We're going to set these shoes just right on this template or else you're going to have skin. All right. So we're going to make, save that. We're going to make this disappear. <laughs> And there you have it. You have your pants, your shirt, but it's only like a, I guess they call it a wife beater. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's not going to have sleeves on it. We're doing pants. Okay, so let's go ahead and save this. Save this. PNG. Always save it PNG. Do, um... Area 11 black pants. Let's see. I'm going to save them like that, but I'm going to add something else to them. So let's see if we got. We want something on the pockets. Let's see. Let's put something on one pocket. So if you look <clears throat> over here, you can see on the back, right here, and you can see where it lines up. So if you put it right here, right here, above the little uh, dotted line, <clears throat> you could probably get a pretty good, let's see, copy six. Let's duplicate that. Let's free transform it. Let's bring this down right on the back pocket. Right there. So it matches our shirt, you know? Why not? Why not? Okay. We can't duplicate text, so we're just going to have to do it. AE 15. Gold, middle, gold, save. We're going to put it inside of our little fire ring so it'll match the shirt. Okay, and we're going to go back to always go back to your marquee tool so you don't mess anything up. <clears throat> we're going to bring that layer back up all the way up. All right, let's see, uh, shading. We're going to put our shading all the way up because we're using dark colors. Okay, we got to get rid of our template. And we're going to save it like that. So go up here, let's go to save. Make sure you do PNG transparent right here. We're going to save it in finished templates, merchandise templates. Save. All right. We're going to go back to Roblox. We're going to go down here to pants. We're in the group that we're putting the pants into. So we're going to choose a file and go right here to pants and upload. Thank you. Thank you. They're fun to make. I mean, I, I do this also on Discord, guys. If you ever want to join me, I'll teach you how to do it. We can do it step by step. 
um, you can do it while you're, you're, you're doing it too and I can explain it to you. I'll do a screen share. You can screen share if you'd like to. We can talk the chat and I'll help you help you build you some stuff um, for your, your store. Otherwise I can do custom items as well. Okay, let's go back to the shirt and let's see what we got if it came up yet because it says Roblox isn't working right now, but let's just see. Yeah, it did come up. Okay, so let's go to configure and we're gonna configure our shirt. And you know me, I sell everything I make for five Robux, which is the cheapest that you can make um, shirts. You can make t-shirts cheaper, but it's only like, um, the t-shirts are only like a, a emblem or something like that. It's, it's not a, like a shirt shirt. Okay, so it's been successfully updated. Let's see if they'll show it to us. Smoking red. And then let's copy this. Copy. Let's paste it over here. And save it. Always save it. Um, it's not showing here, but it did show in the... Let's see here. See, it is showing up right there. There we go. There's the shirt that we just made. We can go 2D. We can turn it around and look at the back. See, we got AE on the sides, on the back, on the side. And on the front looks good and see this the hands where we cut off the hands it's not too high and it's not too low okay now let's go back the pants oh they popped up excellent let's look at them here we go with the shoes, see the shoes turned out pretty good. And there's the soles of the shoes. So he's wearing his red shirt, black jeans and his fire smoky red shirt with a patch on his bottom. How about that? <laughs> Okay, so let's go back to here and let's price the pants and I'll show you how much you actually make by doing this, y'all. And it's not a lot. I'm not making a lot off this stuff because I don't charge like a lot of people do. Okay, so let's go to configure. And I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna put it down into the description like this. So simple. And we're going to save it. <clears throat> save. Successfully save. We're going to go to sales. Item for sale. We're going to make it five Robux as all my stuff is that I make. The creator earnings right here is 70%. So for every five Robux I sell, I get three Robux. See that? I get three Robux for that. So we're going to save that at five Robux. That's right. Two for the market. Okay, and so we have a complete outfit. Let's go see what area 11 looks like in our new outfit. She's all decked out. Yeah, let's make sure we save costume. Um, See, that's already saved. So we're going to go to Recent. All. And we're going to take off this stuff. Yeah, it does. It, I make three and they make two. Some people didn't know that. 
so we got the pants on we got the shirt on let's take off some of this other stuff maybe maybe I don't have to do I have wings on I got that cape on let's see what else do I have on front shoulders neck nothing face waist all right so here's area 11 in her new outfit sagging her jeans so that's basic and it even looks better on a square body but that's basically how you make clothing and the shoes turned out really cute soles of the shoes well they kind of came up kind of high I need to lower those but I can redo it Let's see uh, we can go here and all we got to do if we make a mistake we can delete them from there but let's see layer 19 So we're going to go to free transform. We're going to pull those shoes down a little bit. Save changes. We're going to go here. Turn this back on and we're going to opaque the shoes this time. There we go. Mm, 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 mm. No. So I'm going to make these shoes a little bit brighter here. So the problem is we need to make the shoes. I, I made them stretched out a little bit too much. So we need to free transform to bring them down like that and stretch them out a little bit to the edges like that. A little bit taller. <laughs> that should be good. So now let's make these full unopaque. Now they should be better like that. Take that out. Pull that down a little bit. Yes, let's go over to this one. Let's pull these jeans down a little bit so we don't get any skin. Here we go. Now I'm going to resave it. <clears throat> Let me lift this pocket up a little bit. While we're here, we may as well. Let's see, layer six copy is this one. Here we go. Free transform. No, that's not it. No. Okay, that's the one. So we want to raise this up a little bit. It just wasn't quite high enough. that one and then we're gonna do 
I believe it's this one. We go here, click on that, and we're going to raise that up too. Alright, save. <clears throat> go to Mark Ketel, save. We're going to go to PNG. Okay. And we're going to switch it out with the other ones that we just made. So we're going to do Black Pants number two. Save. I'm going to go back here. Go to groups. Area 11. <laughs> Store. Group items. Now, if you make something that you do not want to sell, the way to do that is to go to it, go to configure, and right here, put in capital letters, do not sell. Put in the description, do not sell. Save it. Go to sales and put nothing. Save it. Okay, so that will not sell. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to go back to upload and we're going to upload the new pants. Now those will disappear after a while, maybe an hour or so. That will disappear. So we're going to go get number two. And we're going to upload this one. All right, we're gonna do the same thing here. We're gonna take off the number two. We are going to highlight, copy, paste, space, save. Sales, five, save. Back and back. <coughs> Okay, so we'll give that some time and that should that one should come out pretty good. I shortened the shoes a bit. Awesome! What do we got over here? 100%. Are you being safe? Why are you not safe? Okay guys, that's um, basic instructions on how to make a shirt and pants. Well, obviously with an undershirt. <clears throat> on Roblox. Um, I'll get into some more detailed items later on. I'll even, I'm learning how to do three dimensional items so I can show you how to make hats and stuff, but you can't like use them on Roblox. They won't allow us to, but it's cool to learn how to make them because when they do, it'll be cool to do that. Okay, so if, um, if you missed a part or you didn't understand something, go back and watch it again or catch me on discord um anytime I'm, I'm usually on pretty often if i if you're not on whenever you want to ask a question i'll probably be on pretty soon unless it's like three in the morning or something but sometimes i'm even on then so thank you all very much for joining me let me see um i'm on jojo's account on the computer with the youtube showing so i'm going to put my normal Thank you so much, as well as, you know you all have my heart. And that is me and not Jojo on Gibby Dat Games. That is my son's account. Thank you all so much, and guys, we'll see you on Discord. That's where I'm going. So, see you there.